Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and finally I decided to go a little bit deeper with the uh, Boss Katana, where is it? Oh, it's connected to my guitar. Boss Katana Go and YouTube Markers and Sessions. So basically, as you guys probably can't see, I have my iPad here, but I'm gonna screencast the iPad, so I'm, I'm recording the iPad right now, I'm gonna put it here on site. And I'm going to do this all from the beginning. So I'm going to delete this session. And what I'm going to do is very easy. So I already have a sound. Let me put this recording. I already have a sound here. Very heavy sound, but doesn't matter. So I'm going to delete what I had here before. Okay. And now I'm going to YouTube. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to choose um, free guitar backing tracks, and there's this guitar backing track from Paul Davis, 10 years old. I'm gonna put play. Yeah, there's always these ads, but you can close this, and then on the iPad, I click share, copy link. Now I'm going to back to my to my uh, Katanago app, and in session, I'll create session list from the internet. Next. I'm gonna paste the URL. I'm gonna call it, uh, for example, backing track. Okay, and now it'll start to play and we'll start to record in Logic. But the thing is, I have uh, lots of distortion here going on, so I'm gonna add some markers, and it's very easy. Put this on record again. It's very easy, just click here on the arrow, marker set, and already added a marker because uh, when I click marker, it, it will have the marker where it was stopped. So on this marker, now I click here on the arrow, I scroll down, and where it says memory number, I'm going to put natural drive, okay? So, this is not the ideal scenario, but anyways, uh, when it starts to 17 seconds, uh, it will be natural drive engaged. And now I click here to go back on up arrow and click play. Now I have lots of distortion. And I'm playing along. When he goes there, maybe it will be too low, I don't know. Let's go and add another marker. I'm going to into my editor here and I'm going to select clean. Okay. And I'm going to write this, I don't know, uh, not here, but uh, probably here. And just call it clean so we can start from the beginning, okay? Let me just give you a little, one, a little more boost because of volume, okay. Now back to sessions, okay. Now I can see here that I have two markers. Marker one, if I click the arrow here, it'll give me memory number is off. I'm going to put natural drive and okay. And marker two is probably already in stadium solo. So, okay. So right now I'm going back to the beginning. I'm going to start. Oh, it's, it's putting me again, the tone that I had before, I believe. Let me check out. Oh, let me put this in clean. Okay, so back to sessions. Let's see how it changes now. Sorry, I put this recording. Okay. Sorry for my playing. As you 
DC already changed it to Stadium Soul and passed the other, uh, other one too. And a little bit of a glitch over there because probably of the internet. Now you can add how many markers you want to. Now I can add another marker here for a different tone, marker number three. And I'm going to choose a different tone here, probably, I don't know, uh, stack crunch. It's all a bit of crunch. And OK. So if I rewind a little bit, it will change my tone. You see, change it for stadium solo, which is my marker number two. Just wait a little bit to go into the sec crunch. I hope you see this making some sense to you guys. As you guys can see, already changed the, um, the tone as well. So basically, it's as easy as it is. Now you can do this for guitar lessons, for example, if it's, there's a point at, that you want to, to know how to play properly, and you put their, their marker called uh, scale X or Y, and then you can also change the speed here, like 75% or 50%. Now it's gonna sound really weird, but anyways, let me put this recording so we have sound. Um, okay, so here it is. Because it's after time, right? And you can AB and you can also, this AB thing, I'm not sure exactly what it does, so I have to study this one. Um, let's go back and you can one time and repeat a next song. You can do this all in here. So. But something is very important that I didn't realize at first because I had this connected via USB cable is that when I go into my, my Bluetooth settings, uh, I have to have both Katana Audio and Katana MIDI here connected on the iPad. So right now the sound is going, the Katana, the, sorry, the iPad is connected to the, the iMac, but it's just connected for power, uh, nothing else. And the, the, um, everything comes to the, the, to the Katana Go, you know what I mean? And then the Katana Go is connected to my Scarlett interface via jack, so it's not via USB. And I'm just recording what it's coming from the, um, from the internet, Katana Go. I think you get, get the idea. Basically, just showing you how you had videos. Now you could have another video, you just go into, into YouTube and also create another. Now, music library on the iPhone doesn't work because everything kind of starts gray out uh, or it doesn't, it doesn't import, at least, uh, let me check out. I can go here to an artist like uh, Pearl Jam, something like that, yeah. And probably you won't let me, I don't know why I just have this song here. Oh, <laughs> so far it didn't let me do that. No, it's letting me do that. I don't know why. On the iPhone, I cannot do it. You get the idea. It's working perfectly fine. Let's go now again. But, but there's a lot of songs that I don't have here, like backing tracks. As you see, probably these are, these are songs that were added before the... that I already had, already had before uh, buying the Apple Music, uh, the Apple plan, which includes music, of course. So these songs were already here, okay? And it's the only way you can access them. It's if you already had songs here before, because everything that then is part of your plan is DRM protected, so it doesn't work, okay? So I, I didn't know I had these songs here, but they work okay. So it's a little bit more complicated on the, on the, um, side side of Apple things because everything is very protected and unless you had songs from before or somehow you can I don't know because now if you had a song uh, that has no rights into the into iTunes called iTunes but now it's called music and I can show you here I just added this song 
uh, it's a backing track for Joe Satriani, but the thing is it doesn't um, sync up with the cloud, so it does not appear here. So it, no matter what you do, you're not going to have what you have on your computer on your uh, iPhone or iPad. Probably there are other players that sync with the cloud and, and will do that, but the Apple ecosystem is very close, so you'll be better off with an Android device for this kind of stuff, and probably I'm going to buy one because all music is protected, so it doesn't like, unless you go onto YouTube and instead of having just a song from your library, you have the complete uh, video, and it's basically the same thing, okay? But to jam, you know, um, you cannot do that. Uh, just to, to, you know, you can do a different thing, which is basically, if I go here uh, into iTunes and I click Joe and put play, probably, I don't know why this doesn't work, but anyway, uh, right now everything is kind of, let me try if I can get here a baking track, no baking, I'm not baking anything, baking track. And if I put this, not this one, but uh, yeah, this one. Let me see if it goes into logic. No, it doesn't even play. I don't know why. So this is kind of a weird thing, okay? So back to our Katana Go. And there it is. Hope you guys understood how it's done. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And don't forget, I'm trying to sync everything up. I'm recording with my iPhone. I'm screencasting the iPad and also screencasting on the iMac, so it's kind of a weird thing to make it up, everything together. So um, stay tuned for more. I'm going to explain more in more detail how, how you can do this in different ways, probably uh, simpler ways. But I was convinced that I needed a USB cable, so I always had the USB cable connected and it was doing nothing, only causing problems. So see you on the next one. Cheers.